Okay, let's take a look at the detailed components of a budget. We usually break down the master budget into three main categories. We have operating budget as a first bullet point. Second, we have capital expenditures budget, which we actually covered in the entire chapter in the previous chapter. The 20, 21st chapter is all about the second bullet point, capital expenditure budget. Third, we have financial budget, which plans to raise cash, paying debts. Just by looking at the name of these different components of budget, does it remind you of any statements? Income statement links to first one, right? What else? Balance sheet links to the third one, but then if you look at the breakdown of these three bullet points, it's actually exactly the same components in statement of cash flows. Remember, statement of cash flow, the first bullet point, first section is about operating expenses. Operating expenses, cash receipt, cash payment on expenses and revenues. Middle part is on the investment of the assets, so the money we spend on purchasing the asset, the money we spend on trading in the asset, what we receive, receive from um, selling the asset. Financial budget part mirrors actually the statement of cash flows, the last section. So if you sell any stock, if you borrow money, what is the debt that you actually received or paid? These three bullet points, the component structure is really exactly the same as statement of cash flows. Okay, but the first part here, what we're doing in operating budget is understanding what is our anticipated spending on those temporary accounts. So remember, revenues, expenses, all of these accounts closes in a year. They're considered temporary accounts. So we're trying to set a plan and anticipate what is our expected sales revenue, what is our expected inventory um, expenses, and then at the end, there's also other expenses, right? Rental, utilities, other expenses um, other than inventory costs. So altogether, the first bullet point, the goal we're trying to get to is the expected income statement. Okay, so this is the first part of master budget. Second, capital expenditures we learned in the previous chapter. So this chapter here, we're really not focusing that much on the second bullet point, just the first and the third. So third one here, financial budget, links to all the other accounts that we haven't mentioned in the first two. So basically anything related to debts, anything related to stock market transactions, those that we will plan it out and see what is our goal for next year. All those numbers factors in the third financial budget. Okay, so basically this entire chapter at the end will be getting to a lot of budgeted statements which many of them looks exactly the same as what you learn in financial accounting. The only difference is that these are anticipated numbers. These are expected numbers, not the actual numbers. Okay, so all bud what budget means is an expected plan for future. So all the statements at the end that we're getting to is all anticipated numbers, not the actual numbers. When we actually get to actual numbers, then we will do performance report compared to.